Welcome my friends. Today is a special day. I'm taking a trip back down memory lane to a role playing game helper type program that I created in 1994. This was when I was a junior in high school. I had created my own role playing system that my friends and I had played together and I made it a very complicated system. So what I did was I created this helper program in QBasic to keep track of characters and to help us uh, play the game. It was a paper and pencil type game. It had uh, feelings from Middle Earth, uh, of course Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I mixed in some feelings from Wizardry, uh, even Ultima. So I hope you enjoy this especially if any of you watchers were used to playing paper and pencil role-playing games. I haven't looked at this in years, so I may even forget what I've done, but let's take a look. So evidently I have a create new character. And you can see all the classes that I allowed, quite a few, allowed you to be monsters and all types of different things. So let's just pick Cobalt to start. So it looks like our attributes are Strength, Constitution, Dexterity, Speed, Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. And on the right side, it shows what the random roll was. Man, I was really together. <laughs> I have height and weight, age, all kinds of things. I may have to revisit this. But as you can see on the left side, it shows your actual attributes based on the race, which is pretty cool. And I'm not sure what the bottom numbers mean here. Let's see. Does this mean I can change it? Oh, okay. This allows you to exchange an attribute. Whoops. Uh, that doesn't look good. I just lost my high dexterity. Let me try this again. I'll try changing intelligence with wisdom. Okay, mm interesting. So, choose class is next. So evidently, based on my attributes and possibly race, these are the classes I can be. Let's make this person an assassin. Okay. Choose class. Oh, there we go. Assassin. What level is the character starting on? What I did here, and I remember this now, is I made it where you type in the level and it will fast forward you through the levels making you gain until you reach that level which was pretty sweet that way my friends and I when we play we could create characters and start them off on any level based on the strength of the adventure I was to have this person start on level one so they increased in wisdom now I have to choose a slot to save so there's his hit points and stamina. The way stamina worked is as you did things, you lost stamina. Of course, it's kind of like your energy. And you'd have to rest or uh, maybe drink or eat some food to get some back. And I came up with the concept, kind of stole some of these ideas from Wizardry, especially Wizardry 6, with slashing, bashing, lashing, etc. And some other types of things. So, this assassin, maximum points for one skill is six. Let's increase throwing. You can see my weapon skill points going down. So 
make this a male. Doesn't have any color for cobalt. Doesn't have any hair. Eye color for kobolds. And assassins can only be evil. So let's make this person chaotic evil. And those are the skills. Let's try number two. Skill to learn. Do running. 26%. Disguise. I got two left. Forgery. And climbing. Now I get some skill points. Let's bump assassinate up quite a bit. Characters created. I also made it where you could load characters that you've already saved. For example, Priam here. We can load him and then view him. So this is a level 12 fighter. And human is the race. You can see the strength and it shows damage adjustment, hit bonus, all kinds of statistics I had here. And I made this generator handle all this for us which was pretty sweet because then basically all I had to do was enter in the monsters the characters would be updated here and then they would just do the actual story role playing part there's the characters dodge and weapon skills movement rate and then resistances and you can see some of those I kind of borrowed from advanced dungeons and dragons and others I mixed in from other role-playing games. 115 hit points. This is where you could adjust the hit points. For example, if the person ran into a trap and took 30 damage, I could do that here. Hit point adjustment. See, and then it lowered it. Okay. Here's some other skills and special abilities if the character would have any. Here is the weapon and armor screen. And you'll notice the crit area. That actually stands for critical hit. And I worked on the critical hits the way that Middle Earth did them. I'm not sure if you've ever played Middle Earth, but it is an awesome role playing system. You can see how the weapon affects your speed factor and you can see which weapons are equipped. The saber is in the character's primary hand and flail in secondary. And armor has, of course, structure points, which was pretty cool because as the armor would get damaged from attacks, I would lower the structure points. And again, the combat system I built would automatically handle this. The special on the right side is because certain armors protect better against certain types of attacks. Like splint mail is not good against slashing, but it is good against lashing and bashing. So we'll skip to the next one. Shows our total encumbrance, how much we're carrying. Miscellaneous type equipment. Let's see here, money. Again, you can see the money is kind of borrowed from the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I always liked having different types of money. I don't know why, I just always enjoyed that part. Instead of it just being gold, it just gets kind of boring. 